Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. We are now episode 14. So glad that you're back here to join me. I'm your host, Darnisha. Um, Today, we're going to be talking about imposter syndrome. Something that if you're trying to build anything, if you're trying to grow in any way, you've probably experienced imposter syndrome. Before we get started, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. If you're listening to the audio version, make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening. So I'm going to get into my personal experience with imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is one of those things I didn't start hearing until maybe, I don't know, maybe three years ago is when I really started hearing it. You know, we always coming up. Our generation is always coming up with um, new terms, new words. (laughs) They aren't necessarily new, but we just weren't super familiar with them. So I've experienced imposter syndrome when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to running a clothing brand, when it comes to getting a new job, like I've experienced imposter syndrome and it's one of those things that truly holds you back from what you're capable of. It'll make you think you're not capable of doing things that you were made for and it'll take you longer to get to your goals or longer to figure things out. If only you believed in yourself, if only you knew what you were capable of and you didn't doubt yourself, if only you did not feel like an imposter, you would be so much further than where you are. So recently, I've really experienced imposter syndrome. And so one of the things you must do when building a clothing brand, influencer marketing is super important. That's one thing I always hear. Um, Just getting your clothing in the hands of people who have a following. So one thing I said, you know, I was just talking, I was like, ooh, I need Keith Lee in dynamic. Like I, I, I need Keith Lee to just, just wear a dynamic shirt. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to email Keith Lee. This was like maybe a month ago at this point. And I got his email. I put it on my to-do list. And every week I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it this week. I'm going to do it this week. I'm going to do it this week. But I never email him. And that is imposter syndrome to the T because I feel like, who am I? to email Keith Lee, a person who does food, who's a food critic. He doesn't even review clothing. Like, who am I to send Keith Lee an email about wearing dynamic? And this is, this is fresh. This is fresh. I don't know. I really don't know what's stopping me. It's just this, that. It's like, who am I? Like, why would he wear my stuff, you know? And I know that my clothing burn is great. I know that the message is great. I know that my why is great. But I don't know. It's like something, something inside of me, something is stopping me from doing that. I think it's, it's, I think it's fear. I think it's some sort of fear. But I think it's fear of what if it works? Not necessarily what if he doesn't, you know, wear it or what is, what if he doesn't like it? It's what if it works? Because, come on now, if if Keith Lee put on my shirt, if Keith Lee wear my hoodie, it's over. Like, Dynamic's going to shoot up in a way that I could never imagine. It, he just has that type of following. So I think it may be the fear of what could happen, not what could not happen. Because if he, if he wears it, if he doesn't wear it, oh, well, he doesn't wear it. That's just like any other day. He doesn't wear it. Um, if he doesn't like it, okay, whatever. He doesn't wear it (laughs) because he doesn't like it, whatever. But I, I definitely think it's the fear of what if it works. And it's funny that that can be a fear because that's what we want. That's what I want. I want this clothing brand to thrive. I want it to grow. Why on earth would I fear success? I don't know yet. I am still moving through that. But I promise you today, I'm I'm going to email Keith Lee today. (laughs) Today is Wednesday, May 24th. I'm going to email Keith Lee today, you know, just to, you know, ask for his P.O. box. If I get it, I send him some clothing pieces and yeah. But if I don't, oh, well, it's another day. But letting the fear of success keep me down, I just don't think that is sane. (laughs) That's kind of insane to me. There have been some other imposter syndrome experiences that I've had especially with like YouTube, with my podcast, with starting a clothing brand in general, there was always that, who am I? 
like, why me? But I had to change my thinking, like, why not me? Why not me come to this podcast, give you tips on how to change, progress, and grow? Why not me? I'm literally living it. I'm living through this journey right now. Why not me? Why wait until I made it to come talk to you? Like, talking to you now is what's important. Letting you see my journey now is what's important. Letting you see this messy room now is what's important. Letting you see me go through those changes, that progression. Letting you see the growth happen in me. That's what's important. I think that's what we have. We have to start thinking, why not you? Instead of thinking, why me? Think of all the good that you have to give to others. Think of all the good that you have to share with the world. You definitely have to alter your mindset and just take action. Stop thinking so negatively about what could happen, what couldn't happen. Just just do it. Just, just take action. And it's so funny because I just feel like I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> I really feel like I'm talking to myself right now, and I am. Just take action. Don't be afraid of what could happen. Don't be afraid of what may not happen. Just do it. Whatever. Okay? You're going to learn from you're going to learn from it if it doesn't work, and you're going to learn from it if it does work. You're going to grow if it doesn't work, and you're going to grow if it does work. There's always something to get out of it. Whether you know it or not, there's always something to get out of it. And that's how we we just have to alter our mindset, alter the way we're thinking. Think about the positive that could come and what that could do for us. Think about how you could help others. Like this this podcast, I'm not I'm not making money. I'm not contrary to popular belief. Yes, we're on YouTube, but you see the views. There's not like hundreds of dollars coming in from the podcast. But there are a few people who have reached out to me and said, you inspire me. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm so proud. This has helped me. That's why I'm doing it. You never know who you could help. You never know who may need your voice, who needs you to keep going in order for them to keep going. You never know who needs that. So yeah, why not you? I want to give you some practical things to think about in order to combat imposter syndrome, okay? Number one is don't be afraid to make mistakes. When you're doing something new, mistakes are going to happen. You may say something wrong. You may offend someone. You may forget to do something super important. You may, when it comes to a clothing brand, you, you may forget, give someone the wrong size. Mistakes happen, but you learn from your mistakes. And you also learn how to rectify situations. If I give someone the wrong size t-shirt or something and they email me and say, hey, you, I ordered a small, you gave me a large. You learn how to rectify that situation. You learn how to reach out to your customers. And that may be what gives them the best experience ever. The fact that you handled that return so well. The fact that you handled that constructive criticism so well could be the thing that makes someone love your brand, that makes someone love who you are, and they support you in whatever you do after that. It's the way you handle those situations that come from your mistakes. You're a human being. You're a human being. Mistakes are going to happen. They're going to happen daily. But what's important is how you handle those mistakes. What's important is how you rectify those mistakes. It's not the mistake itself. It happens. Things happen. Nobody's perfect. It's okay. It is okay. If you're afraid to start a business because you're afraid that you're going to get, you're afraid that the sizing of something is going to be wrong. That's something I've dealt with. And I've dealt with people telling me, I don't know, it's kind of tight. You know, the 2X really doesn't fit like a 2X. Okay, let me try to rectify that situation. Let me try to get you something better that fits you better. It's not on you. It's never, it's not on that customer at all. I know sometimes it's hard to, we, we order things. I order things online all the time and it's hard for me to figure out which size is correct, even when using a size guide, but it's just all about how you handle the situation. Give them what they need, no matter what. Listen, listen to your customers, listen to your audience. You may not be selling a thing, but listen to your audience on what they need and what they want from you. And that's how you'll grow in the end. If you listen to them, they're telling you exactly what they want. 
They're telling you exactly what they need. All you have to do is listen and implement those things that you're getting from them. It's just like growing your social media. Now, before me focusing so deeply on my clothing brand, you guys know that this channel, me, I was focused on just building my personal brand, Fashionisha. And one thing, that was another imposter syndrome thing. Like, who am I <laughs> to call myself Fashionisha? Like, I'm not just... Some days I might not really put it on, but I feel like I put it on. So if I feel like I put it on, then I put it on. And so I would post videos of outfits, things like that. And I had one video do really well. It's still doing well to this day. And that video was over a year ago. But my point is that people love that. They show you what they love. Looking at what got the most engagement, it will show you what people want to see from you. If you're trying to build on social media in some way, it talks to you. Look at your analytics. Look at what people are responding to from you. And that'll show you how you can grow your platform to do other things, to breed any other engagements that you can have. Just don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just always remember it happens. Um, people are going to judge you. When I think about making mistakes right now, I'm thinking about John Morant. <laughs> the boy is going through it. Okay, and I'm not going to lie, I made my jokes. The jokes are hilarious, but we also have to think about how he's feeling in this moment. He's 23, and most of us, when we were 23, were probably doing some stupid stuff as well. Most of us, if we were 23 with millions of dollars, we would probably do some stupid stuff as well. But I don't doubt that he's going to come back and kill it because mistakes happen. You have to learn from it, come back, and kill it. Shout out to 12. <laughs> Number two is build social proof. So I listen to this podcast called Social Proof. And one thing that I always talk about is to sh show as much as you can on social media. That's what it's for. Show as much as you can. Give as much value as you can on social media. Get reviews from your customers. Even if your customers are just your friends right now. Even if you just... Hey friend, try this out. Let me let me know what you think. Get that review from them and use that to your advantage. Use that to build whatever you have going on. Even if you're providing a service for someone, use the review to build what you have going on. You have to take it one day at a time, one customer at a time, one experience at a time, and eventually you will grow larger than you can ever imagine. But share those reviews with others so that they can see like, oh, okay, this is how other people are feeling about it. Let me give it a try. They'll either try it or they won't. Either way, it'll grow you or it'll help you learn. Another thing on building social proof is to document your journey. I wish I would have thought about this when I first started because I wasn't really recording anything when I first started my brand. So I don't have much to show from 2017, 18 about me what I was doing with my brand but do better than me don't don't be like me be better than me um document the whole thing document the journey of you trying to build your logo or you trying to come up with your why you even want to do this document everything document I don't want to call it failures but I guess document the failures Things that didn't go your way document that as well tell them how you're going to do it differently next time um, and record your wins. Record your wins not only for social proof, but for self-proof. To show yourself that you are progressing. To show yourself that you have done things in your company, whatever you're doing. To show yourself that you have done things to grow. You have progressed over the time that you've been doing this. Even if it's just taking a picture. You want to be able to show yourself like, oh, okay. I'm actually doing something. I can keep going. I've, I've been doing it this long. I can keep doing it. I just think it's very important not to forget the small wins. We're, we'll always remember the big wins. I'm sure Beyonce will always remember her Grammy. But will she always remember the small crowds when she first started out? Probably not, unless it was documented. So document those small wins. Document that first pop-up shop you ever, you're ever doing, even if you only got one sale or no sale document that talk about that um people want to see that they're not the only ones out there struggling and people want to see that greater is coming wins can come after a fall people want to see that and that's what makes you a real person and not just a 
brand. Me talking about dynamic all the time, me connecting it to my own personal life shows you that it's real. It shows you that this is not just something I say. This is something I live and this is something you can live as well. You just want to make sure that you're giving authenticity to people. Don't worry about not having enough followers. Don't worry about not having enough support if you just started. Like just don't just don't worry about it. I really want you to think and this brings me to my third point which I touched on in the beginning, just altering your mindset. I just want you to think more about why not you and stop questioning yourself. If God brought it to you, if it's something you think about all the time, it's a vision you have all the time, don't you think you're supposed to be there? Or don't you think you're supposed to figure out how to get there? If that is always coming into your mind. I am constantly thinking about dynamic. I am constantly thinking about new designs. I'm constantly thinking about how can I grow this? What can I do next to make this better? If that's something that's constantly coming in my mind, I think I'm supposed to be here. I think this may be something I'm supposed to be doing. And I have what it takes. I may not know it yet, but I have what it takes. And you have what it takes. You have what it takes to do exactly what you're thinking about each and every day. You have what it takes to succeed in everything that you think of each and every day. You're thinking of that vision right now. You're thinking of that one thing that you work on each and every day or you want to work on each and every day, but you're scared that you won't get the support. You're scared that others won't listen to you or won't take in what you have to say. You're scared of that, but trust me, somebody out there needs it. And if it's in you, it's for you anyway. Stop worrying about the little logistics of it all and just start. Just do what you do what's inside of you already to do. If it was given to you, you can do it. If God trusted you with it, why not trust yourself with it? I think about that all the time. Like, wow, you trusted me, me with this brand? Like, I'm pretty sure somebody else could probably take this and do amazing things with it quicker than I can. But you trusted me with it? Okay, I'm finna show out. I'm finna show out for him because he gave it to me. He could have given this to anybody else, but he gave it to me. So if you trust me like that, God, listen, I must trust myself and trust that I can do what it takes to build this. So stop letting imposter syndrome stop you. Stop letting it make you stagnant. Stop letting it put fear inside of you. I'm talking to myself. I am about to send that email to Keith Lee today. I'm, I'm going to send it today. I promise. And whatever happens, happens. Life will go on regardless, right? And either way, I will learn from it regardless. You are not an imposter. You are exactly where you should be. You are doing exactly what you should be doing. I I'm rooting for you. I am rooting for you. Because, number one, I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to doubt yourself. I know what it feels like to feel like you're not the one for the job. But I also know what it feels like to finally realize that you are the one for the job. And once you finally realize that, do you know, do you know the things that you can accomplish? Do you know the people that you can help? Focus on that. Stop focusing on, stop focusing on the mechanics and focus on that. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. I hope that this message touched you. I hope that it gave you a little encouragement to step out of that imposter syndrome. Don't put that over your life. Remove yourself from that and know that you are, you are it. You are it, okay? Make sure you guys visit our website, dynamicxfashion.com. Follow us on all our social medias, Dynamic X Fashion. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss the next episode. Like, leave me reviews, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. And I want to hear, have you ever experienced imposter syndrome? Let me know your story down in the comments section below. Let's talk about it. But that's all I have for you guys. So continue to change, progress, grow, be dynamic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you want in